Welcome to our new tips and tricks section. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is posture. Now posture is vital in any form of dance and especially in the ballroom and Latin dances where we're dancing with a partner. If you're stood on your own, it doesn't really matter how you stand. I mean, you can stand slouched. I mean, you don't necessarily look very good, do you? It's not a good look, but uh, it doesn't impact on anyone else, only, only yourself. So when you've got someone with you, it's important to stand well so that you can interact with them uh, to get the most out of your dancing. The first thing I want to, to mention is to ensure that your belly button is held underneath your rib cage. Okay, that avoids the slouch look. It's like a rounded bang. We don't want that. It's not a good, posi not a good position at all. And uh, if you stood in front of your partner like this, they're not really gonna look forward to dancing with you, to be honest. So you wanna make sure that is underneath your ribs. It makes you stand nice and tall. Well, as tall as you can be anyway. Secondly, I make sure that my shoulders are backwards as well. Again, I don't want to stand like this. This isn't, again, a good position to be in. And then when, it, when I lift my arms up, you see, it'll affect my hold and how I can interact with my partner. So the shoulder blades go back, which again opens up the ribcage to present myself to my partner, also the audience that are watching me. And it means I stand and look much, much more attractive. Now, how does that work, though, with a partner? So how does it work when I'm holding them in, in a dance hold? Let's find out. We'll start with the ballroom holds, and there are five ballroom dances, of which four of them have the same hold. There's one that's different, it's tango, which we'll show you in a minute. I've got Chris and Jess here with me to help showcase all these holds. So we'll start off with the normal uh, waltz hold, let's say, which is the same for Foxtrot, Quickstep, and Viennese waltz. So if you'd like to take hold, guys. So remembering the posture aspect, so keeping the belly button underneath and the shoulders back, as you can see, the lady's left hand is on the man's right arm. So you want to make sure, ladies, there's a little muscle group here with most of the gents anyway. They've got a little muscle here that attaches the shoulder and the bicep. Your hand wants to go around that, all right? So either with your first finger and your thumb or your middle finger, it doesn't matter, it's all personal. You can have an antenna as well if you like. Sometimes you can pick up Radio 5 with that. No, I'm only joking. Uh, and you want to make sure there's a relatively firm grip there with that as well, okay? So you don't want that to slip round the back and tickle the man under the armpit, it's not an idea. Not a good idea either, so on the top of the man's arm. And gents, of course, you want to make sure that your right hand is on the lady's left shoulder blade. So as much as you'd probably like to, you don't want the hand slipping down and down and down the back. <laughs> we'll save that for later. That's going to be up there to support the lady's back and her left arm as well. And finally, of course, with the left hand, the lady's right hand, we hold as naturally as we can with this one, and you want to make sure that the lady's arm is, a, is smooth, uh, from the shoulder to the hand. We don't want it to be dead straight. We don't want it to be dead straight, do we, Jess? It's not a great position, not a great look. So a relatively soft elbow. Now, of course, depending on your size with your partner, that does change sometimes. So if you've got an exceptionally uh, long arms lady with a, with a bloke with little arms, then of course things are going to have to be a little bit uh, different and you're going to have to adapt. But uh, Chris and Jess are a perfect match for each other. And so this works very nicely. And of course, the man's arm is is complementing that too, and the elbow is relaxed. So we don't want big sharp elbows up like this. That'll disturb the shoulders, which we talked about earlier, be them being nice and relaxed backwards. Well, it's not relaxed, actually. It's quite, uh, uses a lot of muscle tension, to be honest. Uh, but it's good, it looks good. So that doesn't look good. That doesn't look very nice at all. So obviously, if Chris and Jess now showed you with the slumped posture, with the belly buttons not underneath, it doesn't look too good at all. Actually, they're not making that look too bad. <laughs> but but uh, so if you have the belly button forward, and the shoulders back, like, uh, shoulders forward as well like that, it doesn't look good really, it looks quite slumped. So if you stand back up again properly, looking to the left, it looks much nicer. So if you have a little twirl around, twirl around, twirl around, it looks much, much nicer. And uh, an attractive couple to dance on the floor. Now, just relax guys. The tango, slightly different. All that we're gonna have different, I'll just demonstrate with Jess if you don't mind for a second. Is that all right, Chris? So what we have different is that the right hand for the man is slightly further around the lady's back. And ladies, your left hand, rather than being on top of the man's arm, will be underneath his left arm like so. It's not in his armpit, okay? So a lot of ladies like to stick the left thumb right in the man's armpit. For, for a couple of reasons, it's not ideal. Firstly, if you're dancing with a man, more than one dance, he could be a little warm. And it's not the nicest of places to stick your thumb. And secondly, it's not that comfortable. Now, if I was to do it to a lady, she gets a bit <laughs> giggly. So, and some men are going to be ticklish as well. So you don't want to put your thumb under the armpit. It can be quite unpleasant. So it goes underneath the arm. And there's a level of tone there as well, ladies, to make sure that it's secure. Now, the left hand, just a little bit closer as well, to give you a little bit of extra style. 
and the right hand, as I said, goes slightly further around the back. And then the tango position, slightly more flexed in the knees, like so. All right, so that gives you the distinct look of tango, all right, which is a bit different to a waltz, a foxtrot, or a quick step or a Venus waltz, where we would use this hold with the arms out further and the lady's hand on the top of the arm for all the other, what we call, swing dances. Okay, so that is the Borum holds. Now, the Latin American holds are a little bit more diverse. In the ballroom, we take a hold, we take a position, and we don't change that until the end of the dance when we spin our lady out to present to the audience. Now, Latin is a little bit different. We go from a closed hold to open hold to a side-by-side -side position to shadow position. There's a multitude of different positions we take in Latin which depend on the steps that we are doing. So we'll just cover the closed hold, the open hold, and the position we'd have in a New York and a hand-to-hand, -hand, which most of you should be quite familiar with if you come to any of our classes. So to start with, I've got Chris and Jess again. We'll get them to stand in a closed hold in Latin. It's similar to the Borum in that the right hand is still supporting the lady on the back on her left shoulder blade, and the lady's left hand is again on top of the man's arm. The difference being, of course, we've got a lot more space. We don't need to have body contact in Latin unless, a, unless the step dictates it. But when, when we're in a closed hole, we will have space, so therefore the arms are further away from us, okay, like so. So again, the lady's hand probably can be a little bit straighter and sometimes on the shoulder as well. Again, it's up to comfort and depends how long your arms are in relation to each other. And with the left-hand side for the man, lady's right-hand side, again, the arm's going to be curved, but again, it's slightly further forward. And the elbows will be more relaxed towards each other. The left hand will be pretty much the same position as it is in ballroom. So again, you can see the space there. Don't forget, though, the posture aspect. Because we're apart from each other, again, you don't want to be looking like this because it not only... Uh, it doesn't look, doesn't look very good, but it looks even worse when you've got lots of space between each other. Okay, so it's very important to maintain that belly button underneath at all times when you're doing Latin as well. Now, if we go to the open hold, which would be, would be just with the man's left and the lady's right hand in this instance, uh, the left hand, gents, you want to make sure that stays around about your left hip height. You wouldn't want it to be too high, like so, because then if you did a basic action, ladies went backwards, you're attacking the lady's upper body. Now what that will cause, as you can see with Jess, she's fallen backwards slightly, so that's not a good position at all. We want to make sure that the lady moves through the hip position, through the hip line, so the hand needs to be relatively low as well to, to allow that to happen. So if Chris and Jess do a back basic now, you can see that the hand stays low, the hip action is good, and it doesn't push the lady off balance at all, okay? Incidentally, in this position as well, if I just borrow Jess for a second there, Chris, the hand is always, for us, underneath the lady. So the lady's always in our hand. What we wouldn't want to do is something like this. That's a slightly ungainly hold. And again, it doesn't look very nice. And it generally encourages bad posture as well. So we'd want to have the hand underneath to present our lady. And especially in a New York position, when we go through the middle, we're there. We're presenting our partner to the audience or, or, or just to a blank wall, even if you're dancing. It's, it's, it's much nicer still. And that would be the same in a hand-to-hand -hand as well. When we step backwards, I would still present the lady with my hand underneath. This is a slightly, it's not the nicest of positions, for whether you go forward or backwards into it. It doesn't look great at all. So it looks a little bit as though you're, you're manoeuvring your lady in a slightly unnatural way, which we don't want to do at all. So all I can say in conclusion is to ensure that the posture is good at all times. You want to look good, not only for yourself, but for your partner. Belly button underneath, shoulders back, and then when you're in hold, be courteous, be nice to your partner. Don't squash and squeeze. Make sure there's a firm hold, but uh, not to the point where your lady goes bright red in the face. And even when you're dancing Latin as well, a relatively firm hold as well to make sure you can lead your lady properly. But at all times, you want to ensure that you stand beautifully.